and the first parameter you separate with a question mark so food is equal to and now in order to append strings in JavaScript you just use plus food and the last parameter is basically this alright so let me go ahead and talk you through this so this is basically what we're sending to the PHP file so first parameter is what type of request get the second parameter is okay you said you're gonna send it now give me the URL pretty much now the third parameter is just just go ahead and type true for now now I don't even know if I wanna talk to you guys about this basically the last parameter true or false is if the request should be handled asynchronously or not false if not true if it is and if you guys are like alright this is Ajax asynchronous Java and XML why would you ever want this false well, we'll talk about that later on basically for this tutorial just write true if not you know then it would be a waste of time but let me just go ahead and format this a little bit prettier alright so what does the open method do or function it basically creates the type of request that we want so now that we have the request are we ready to send it well not yet what we want to do is we want to set this XML I wish that stuff popped up on ready state change now go ahead and set this equal to handle server response all right now before we just go ahead and send this request to the server we need to go ahead and say okay whenever we get information back we want to do something with that information if we just go ahead and made this uh, JavaScript file to send a request to the server and the server would you know send a response back what would happen is the user would be right here using the website and your JavaScript file would be communicating with your server behind the scenes but when it got the response back it wouldn't do anything with it so basically the user would be you know here typing stuff and your you know your computer would be talking to another computer behind the scenes and it wouldn't even be doing anything so it'd be like you did all the hard work but nothing's paying off so what we're doing right here is we're saying okay oops messed that up we're saying okay on ready state change which basically means we want to call this function handle server response whenever the server responds to our request so we're gonna send it this request and whenever it responds we want to do something to our web file so basically what process is gonna do is it's gonna communicate with the web server and what this function is gonna do is it's gonna do something cool to the users web page so that's the three functions you basically need one creates the object for communication the second one communicates with the server and the third one that we're going to be building in a little bit that's what's going to you know either update your web page or create an element or do something cool and that's basically the three parts of Ajax that you always need alright so now that we got that out of the way what we need to do after this is actually send the request because think about it we didn't actually send the request yet we made the request and we said once we get a response back this is what we want to do but even though we made the request we didn't we have to send that I know it's kinda of stupid but that's what you need to do so go ahead and use this object and can you guess the function to send the request you just go ahead and write send and in here just go ahead and type null now I know what you're thinking you're like alright why would you type null there wouldn't you you know want you know the request itself you're sending nothing well actually this is one of the confusing parts so let me explain it whenever you send the request off to the server the parameter that you use is only used with post now we're using git right here so that's why it needs to be null so remember if you're using post then this is going to be um this parameter is not going to be null and I'll talk about that later on but for now just go ahead and set it equal to null and that's what we need to do alright else go ahead and set timeout and I'll talk to you guys about this in a second set timeout process and we'll just go ahead and set this equal to 1000 is actually good enough alright so why do I need an else and what does set timeout do set timeout pretty much it pretty much okay 
I guess I'll explain it this way. The first thing you're doing is you're checking, is the object ready to connect or is it busy? If it's ready to connect and ready to communicate, then you do all this stuff. However, if it's busy, then what you're going to do is you're going to say, okay, I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to time out for one second and then I'm going to try again. So set timeout says, okay, how long do you want to wait? And after you're done waiting, what do you want to do? So pretty much, okay, I want to communicate, communicate, communicate. However, if it's busy, then I'm just going to go ahead and wait again. Wait a second and then communicate again. So that's basically what the function does. And remember, this is the heart of being able to communicate with a server using Ajax. The first thing you do is you need to check if your object is ready to communicate. Next, well, you don't need to do this, but it's really helpful to get a piece of information from the web page. And after that, you want to go ahead and prepare your request. And after that, you want to go ahead and say, OK, whenever I get a response back from the server, this is what I want to do. And we're actually going to be coding this in the next tutorial. And then you go ahead and send your request. Now, if you can't send that, then just wait a second and then send it again. So um, in the next tutorial, I promise it's going to be we're going to be finishing up. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.